you doing here? You. Yes, I'm talking to you. Do you even know what you're getting into? Sis will show you some tips, tricks, moves, and grooves. Biotechnology. So the technical term is just that you use a component of an organism and then kind of tweak it here and there to get a desired product <laughs> that's mostly what biotechnology is so let me just give you an example of where how biotechnology was used there is a clone ship named Dolly so she was born on 5th July 1996 and had three mothers so one provided the egg one the DNA and the third carried the cloned embryo and you're gonna learn about all these things if you take biotechnology, which is pretty cool. And the other thing is that because of biotechnology came the existence of beer, wine, alcohol, and also the wonder drug, penicillin. So in short, biotechnology is the future. I'm not trying to hype it up too much, but it is true. So after my class 12 standard, I really wanted to be a doctor and I've mentioned this in one of my videos, I'll link it down below and I'll show you a clip of it. I did not know about biotechnology at first and I always had that mindset like I really need to get to med school, like I really, really need to get to med school and I was actually very interested in neuroscience. So after the class 12 um, exams were done, I had to give a ton of entrance exams. And after a year of suffering and studying and crying and depression, I came into biotechnology. And yes, if you are a biology student and you think that there is no mathematics in biotechnology, you are wrong. Because there are tons of mathematics. I mean, well, it is technology. We're dealing with technology, so there's going to be a lot of calculations and bioprocess stuff. I'll get to that later and um, well, you basically you just can't escape math it will always follow you but it's fun sometimes so let me just go year by year talking I'm in my fourth year now so I will talk to you about my experiences and some tips year by year so let's go to the first year. The first year, that's uh, in the first semester, it was really difficult for me because I joined in late into the academic year and there was a lot of catching up to do with the studying part and also I had to stay away from home. I really was really far away from home and I had to stay in a hostel. And in the beginning, I didn't know anyone. I did meet a few friends, but uh, we weren't that close and it was difficult for me to interact with people. So that, that really led to a lot of problems later on. So uh, the first semester is going to be really common for all, almost all the branches. So let me just check. Yeah, so you're going to have like 10 subjects and you have engineering mathematics. Yes, you have to learn the language Canada. You have to pass that. So that was another journey. And we have engineering chemistry, mechanical engineering, electronics, Constitution of India, Environmental Studies, Engineering Design, Engineering Chemistry Lab, and Workshop Practice. I think the most fun I had was with Engineering Design because uh, you had to build something or make something. It was really practical and you, you're going to get guides that will help you out with your ideas. And then you get to present it at the end of the academic year. So it was really interesting and I had a lot of fun too. So you're also going to have uh, 
our proctoral system where you get a teacher assigned to you so that this teacher will be able to help you in your academics or any sort of problems you're going through so i had a really good um, proctor that helped me with all these issues about catching up with uh, studying and my attendance my health issues and also i could talk to her about my mental issues so that was uh, that's a really good system that we created for students that are away from home so for the engineering design i uh, me and Two, it's three of my friends, we actually made like a solar umbrella, which was a really good project and it went pretty well. I'll show you some pictures if I find it. Also the attendance thing, you have to at least maintain, I think was it 85% or 75%, I forgot. I think it's 85% because I really struggle to maintain that attendance because I always get flunking classes and I did not want to go to college in my first semester. It was that bad. And uh, also, backlogs. Yes, backlogs. Um, try. You should try your best not to get backlogs from the start because it's just going to make life more difficult for you. Uh, because uh, the backlogs that you have are going to go to your summer summer vacation slot and during summer you have to work on your internships but because you have backlogs you will not be able to do so and you're just going to attend classes and try to get through the subject which I think is really unnecessary and it's a waste of time so you have to try to get through each of the subject even though you are not interested at all just try your best to get at least a passing mark or something so that you don't have to go through the hell again and um, my first semester I did have a lot of backlogs uh, not first semester first year my first year I had a lot of backlogs uh, maybe around like six or something I am not proud of that but I did finish uh, I got through all of it on my second year summer so that was I did my best that's all I just realized like damn this is a waste of time and I need to finish it so I completed it in like a summer and now I have no backlogs and I'm just like chilling living the life so you have to do that you, try, you should try not to get any of the backlogs um, also GPAs are important uh, to get placements or any sort of um, job interviews and stuff that's related to biotech companies so you have to try to maintain a steady GPA so studying studying is sometimes boring so let's just not say studying but let's say learning so uh, first semester first semester you're gonna learn a lot of other subjects that you are also not interested in so that's going to be a little bit of a challenge for you but I know you can do it because I was able to do it me so what you can do is uh, first take down the schedule of your classes and then uh, maintain like those five uh, folder book it's just one book but it has dividers so you can keep that as each of, for each of your subjects so that you can write your notes in it and notes are very important Teacher, the teachers will be able to help you with um, explaining topics and they will give you study materials but it's all up to you how you manage your time and then study learn the topics properly and then if you learn in the start then it's really easy when you have final exams or any sort of uh, semester semester end exams or internal tests that you have so these are really important tests that will contribute to your final exam marks so if you have notes you can always just go through once and since you've already learned it in the start it'll be really easy for you to remember it so that's what I did from the second year onwards. First year was just a disaster. Let me just not get into that. And um, make complete use of your library. It's just it's just yours, you know. You just go in there, take every book you can find, find everything, and um, keep reading. You just have to keep reading books, even if it's just a novel or something. Just read it because it's gonna help you improve your vocabulary the way you communicate with others so you have to start building all the skills up from the first semester and that's that will be really useful at the end of the 
here at Academy Gears because there's going to be presentation and um, thesis presentation, final, final project. You're gonna have to interact with your peers for the project work, your gui guides that will help you. So all of this I'll get into it a little later. Also, from the first semester itself, try to introduce yourself to your professors. Um, get into their good graces because they are going to help you with basically everything. Attendance, projects, internships, miscellaneous. So they are going to help you a lot. So it's better you have a good relationship with them. Um, talk to them, talk to them about your subject interests and they will surely help you back. And if you're going to study in Bangalore, um, you are going to have to study Canada language in the first semester and it was a challenge for me because I, I had no clue and I also joined really late into the academic year so I just learned, I had to memorize stuff yes, I'm sorry but I could not learn Canada language I only know Eshtu, it's how much and Undu, Eretu, that's it maybe a little bit, I can understand a little bit now but in speaking terms I'm just zero so you're, either you can learn the language or you can just memorize them, which is such a task. So I prefer you guys go for learning the language, which is going to be really useful too. Because you're going to be staying here for like four years anyway, so just learn the language. Also in your second semester, you're going to have uh, engineering mathematics again, part two. Uh, physics, civil engineering, electrical engineering, communication. That's very important. Fundamentals of computing where you learn um, C language and um, computer aided engineering drawing, which was actually fun. You'll, you'll have fun in that. And uh, physics lab and computer, computer lab. I really suck at programming. I used to suck at programming. Now I'm a little bit better, but um, it just needs a lot of practice. So first semester is just common for almost all the branches, like I said, and um, you're gonna learn a lot of subjects that you don't like. But I know you can do it. Make sure that you have your notes, you have everything organized, to schedule your timings properly when you're supposed to study. Also, you should try to balance everything, balance your personal life, your academic life, properly so that you can also have fun in college so let's move on to the second year so second year second year was good because i realized a lot of stuff i learned a lot of things from the first year my mistakes my failures and my conscience so it was pretty good because i completed all my backlogs uh, on second year itself and then because of that I could not get uh, an internship but then that's okay because I feel like internships are better when you are in, um, in the middle of your second year or your third year because by then you're going to be engulfed into your the subject that you're interested in and you'll know better what you want out of the internships because internships are pretty important and you're gonna gain a lot of experience from it and the wrong internship will just waste your time so and the subjects that we have in second year is um, heat and mass transfer biochemical thermodynamics molecular biology genetic engineering bioanalytical techniques biostatistics and biomodeling that's a little bit of math and structural biology, molecular biology lab, and unit operations lab. You're gonna really get into the subjects uh, of your of the course that you've chosen, so biotechnology. So now all the genetic engineering, the bio molecular biology labs, everything will start coming in, and then you'll slowly start to know what you're really interested in, and you'll have fun in the process. So the notes thing, uh, I will show you some of the notes that I made during my second year, and I actually lost some of the books, but to show it to you guys so i really like using colorful books like yellow pink red and each was uh, each of them was for a different subject so the yellow one i kept it for bioanalytical techniques so here they um it's just a lot of notes for the subject and i like drawing diagrams because it's a lot more easier for me to remember stuff 
with drawing art. That's how I remember a lot of stuff by drawing a lot of things. So that way you can actually, uh, you know, it's an advantage. Like if you have ways to remember stuff, then you can integrate it into your studies, and it'll be a lot more easier for you. So this is like the entire thing. I made a lot of notes the entire semester, and at the end, the final exam, I was just able to read read it once, and then bam knowledge energy that's how it went and this one is genetic engineering this is this was one of my favorite subjects still is and then i maintained a really good notebook i'm really proud to say that because it was all very neat and systematic and i loved using color pens color codings sticky notes all the colorful cute stuff so that's also that also was like a motivator for me because i was able to use really cute stuff for my studies so i would look forward to using them so i had to study see so you can create like mind traps for studying even if you don't want to you can lure your mind into doing so manipulation and the last book that i found was the um, math yeah <laughs> math that it's important for you to keep a book for math like write down all the formulas and all your practice problems which are really important when a professor gives you practice problems just know that it's going to be either in one of your tests or one of your final exams so once you start thinking about taking internships um, it's really important to know what you actually want whether you want to work in a lab or under a scientist or if you want a working like you want to go around the environment collecting stuff so you need to be clear on what you want because it's really important and you don't want to waste your time in doing things that you don't want to do or you're not interested in so my internship i took it in back home in nagaland in a plant tissue culture lab so i was able to get in because of my aunt she works in a horticulture department over there and she was able to uh, help me get into one of the tissue culture labs and i was able to work under really talented amazing people over there and i learned a lot from it so it was interesting also and even though I did not have much, um, I wasn't very clear on exactly what I wanted but I knew that I wanted to work somewhere in the plant area so that's what I meant for and then I learned a lot of uh, techniques and skills so that that's going to help me in my future internships that I want. If you want to work under a scientist or a researcher from a college then there will be details given, given in the college website. So make sure that you try to read whatever work they have done or whatever papers they've written and then you email them emails because these professors they don't really mm, respond or check their emails as much so while you write an email you have to make sure that you mention their work and then why you're interested in working and what can you give that's very important what can you give so maybe you have to be really creative with your writing and then it shouldn't be too long like an essay because I'm pretty sure the professors won't even get time to read all of those so it needs to be crisp to the point and you need to mention your field of interest and why you are interested in working under them so that's very important also not that's not the only way you can get an internship but your teachers, your professors can also help you because they have a lot of connections, they've worked and with a lot of researchers so they can help you get into a, into a good lab or a research facility. Another way of getting internships is by... There are a lot of research institutes that, that gives programs to students and colleges. So I'm gonna list it down. This, these are some bi biotechnology internships that you can actually apply for and they will select on the basis of your interest, your GPA, your essay so we have the cc and the center for cellular and molecular biology and science academic summer research fellowship program it starts from six semester and we also have three national science academies that's insa and as and ias these are two month summer fellowship for students who are interested in pursuing world-class research with scientists we also have the uh, Indian Institute of Science, Data Institute of Fundamental Research. These are really highly competitive, and also the Indian Agricultural Research Institute. 
Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research Pune. It's a four to eight week summer student program. You can start from second to the third year. So let's go to the third year. So third year. Third year was also a really good year. And it gets really interesting because you're going to have a mini project to work on. And these are some of the subjects uh, during your methodology. Fourth semester. It's actually fifth semester. Fifth semester. Semester. So you're going to really get into biotechnology subjects like immunology, genomics, uh, bioinformatics, bioreaction engineering, intellectual property rights. This is also a really important subject so that you know your rights, your um, patent, patenting stuff in case you make something novel or create something, some sort of a technology that hasn't been created yet. So IPR is a very important subject. If you don't have IPR, I suggest that you read it as an extra course or something because it will help you understand how you can proceed with your inventions or your work or any sort of publications that you want to make. Also, uh, you have a lot of labs like Immunotechnology Lab, which is also very interesting, Biokinetic Engineering Lab and Bioinformatics Lab. Bioinformatics is also very important now and you just, just google it and then you'll find all the information that you need and it really helps if you understand and know how to work with bioinformatics and biotechnology. Second year went just like that really fast and it was an enjoyable year too. I enjoyed all the subjects and I met a lot of friends, I went out, partied, had a lot of fun. So you need to know how to balance your life. That is the key to an amazing college life, balance. You're going to have like just four subjects like um, metabolic engineering, upstream downstream, bioprocess control lab, enzyme technology, and then you're going to have mini project. So mini project is like a trial for your final year project so that you'll know what you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to write a report, which uh, guides you're supposed to go to, and the most important thing, you're gonna learn how to choose your team names. So it was really fun, and then um, yes, third semester, uh, not just third year, third year is when I actually bought my this iPad, and this very useful for me. I'm not asking you to buy it, but this is very useful because I did not have to carry my books everywhere, like this thick books, and everything, all my notes, I write it down in my pad, and then I have it in a very organized, systematic manner and all links or journals or research papers that are related to the subjects, I can just link it down. So this, is, this was really uh, helpful and a time, a time saver for me. So I'll show you some of the notes that I made, which I'm very proud of. So this is, this is how I maintain my notes. But everything is so inverted, but yeah. I use uh, the Notability app had to buy it on the app store but it's actually it's very worth it and it's really interesting to use it too you're gonna get a lot of ebooks from your professors like uh, textbooks really big ones pdf files so this i was also able to just carry it in my bag everywhere i go and i was very organized and i really liked it it helped me a lot with all my exams and project works. So for us, what uh, me and my friends, me and my group, teammates, we decided to work on plants. So we decided to work on Cassia auriculata plant. That's a uh, that's from the Sinha family, and it's usually found uh, around south of India, Tamil Nadu, and it's used for medicinal purposes. It's a traditional knowledge sort of thing. They use it for diabetes, uh, conjunctivitis, and a whole range of diseases. So that, that was really, that's a really interesting plan, so we decided to go for it. And then we had a lot of uh, failures along the way, like some of the concepts didn't work and you're going to face a lot of that, but you should try not to be discouraged because it's just a mini project and you're going to learn from all this. So you have to make sure you try everything. You don't have to be like, it needs to work and it needs to be perfect. You just need to make sure that you understand what are your mistakes, you understand what you're supposed to do after you learn from it. 
not it down in a book what uh, what are the obstacles you've overcome what were the alternatives so you're going to learn all of this so mini project is really important <clears throat> and you're also going to have a lot of presentations and you're gonna start writing reports about your project so you, you will work on it and also your uh, communication skills are important when you're presenting your project because you don't want it to be boring that people don't understand you want to make sure that it's clean the concept is clean and also the outcome the result that you're looking for whether you get it or not you should make sure that it's it was a good uh, presentation so for us while we were working for the uh, under our teacher um, he was a really amazing guide and he had a lot of knowledge about plants and traditional methods of using those plants so it was a lot of fun and but then the corona thing happened uh, in the month of march we were supposed to present it by the end of july and we could not complete our project work so that was such a bummer and we had to work at home which was almost impossible and we could not get the desired outcome this was a wet lab preparation thing we had to work in labs but we could not do so because of the lockdown and it was such a disappointment but we were able to create an alternative for the project so it went well so with that it, uh, we had online discussions and a lot of reading you're gonna do a lot of journal reading and it's going to be quite tedious because you're gonna have to be really thorough about what you're talking about what sort of project you're taking so yeah reading is also a good skill that you have to learn and it's just not reading it's reading and if any of the professors or your batchmates ask you about the project you should be able to explain it like you're explaining it to a child and the child just understands it so that should be your level of knowledge and also this will help you prepare for your final year project where the evaluator is not going to be your batchmates or your professors it's going to be professors from a different branch or sometimes a different college and stuff so you have to be prepared for anything anything that comes and you don't have to be nervous about all this because college is you're going it's going to be a learning experience you're going to have a lot of failures a lot of setbacks a lot of crying a lot of depression a lot of anxiety but this is where you're you have to overcome all that you're gonna learn all this so don't be scared don't be nervous it's okay to be nervous or scared i mean but make sure that you are able to overcome all those things you are able to work on it you are able to work on yourself so that's what i uh, learned along my college years and i'm in my fourth year now and then i have to i have a lot of things to do i have a lot of projects that i need to think about i just like my teammates again it's all over again but that's the fun of it even though you're stressed out and you're just dying and you're not getting sleep you're going to have fun in the process you're gonna learn a lot and you're going to enjoy your college life so being in my last year I still have some things that I need to figure out when you're in college you're gonna learn a lot about your, yourself a lot about your weaknesses and your strength then at the end of the college you know what you're gonna do and even if you don't figure out you eventually know what you're supposed to do so don't worry about anything else just focus on improving yourself and then the rest of the things will just fall into place so that's fine so biotech has a lot of scope uh, it's just that just recently it's been rising up in India a lot of people don't know much about biotech and they just know about medical and engineering and being a lawyer no shade to them, they are amazing career choices, but biotech is something that you can collaborate with a lot of other fields. Also, they can work with architectures and um, medical field, and even in medical field, biotechnology is needed a lot, especially in the creation of vaccines. So all this COVID thing, the vaccines are being manufactured, created, discovered by biotechnologists. So biotechnology can do a lot to all of in all of these fields is a wide scope and that's one of the drawbacks i guess because there's so many things that you can do with biotechnology that you just get really confused what you want really want to go for what specialization you want to do so that's what i'm also a little bit confused about and one of the things that i really liked about biotechnology is that it has flexibility to work in almost every career and also it's just not focused on one stream like medical that you need to learn only about body or anatomy but you learn a lot of things like electrical chemical physical and also um, 
you are able to use all these concepts to create something that's really beneficial like supplements also and nutri nutrition wise so if you're interested even in um, becoming a fitness trainer or something then you can use your knowledge as biotechnologist and help people you know create nutrition supplements or nutrition powders that can help people get stronger better immunity so that's the thing that i liked about biotechnology is just the flexibility that it can work with a lot of careers with, with a lot of other careers too but also there are drawbacks about biotechnology being uh, in the range of ethical issues so there are cases uh, like um hybrids that are not very ethical or designer babies there there's also an issue around that like are we to play god um, choosing what sort of baby that we're supposed to have and all that so it's really interesting you can all look it up and you're going to enjoy studying biotechnology but if it's uh, some it's going to be challenging it's going to be tedious because you're going to be learning about a lot of other subjects too and if you're not really interested in something I suggest you don't go for it but if you're really interested in genetic engineering biotechnology all these aspects then you're in the right course also after graduation the thing is masters and stuff like some people they, they are confused about whether they want to go for masters or they want to work but according to me being in my fourth year I think that taking masters first would be a good choice and then you go work or try to gain some internship for a year or six months or something elsewhere where you can gain a lot of uh, insight and then you can actually understand if you want to go ahead with a PhD because courses like biotechnology is very technical and you will need to at least get a master's degree if you want to land into a better job and it's not the case for everyone I know but that's the reality of it so i would suggest going for masters after graduation so at the end of this video this is a little advice for you guys don't bunk too much classes but, i mean bunk have fun but don't do it so much that your teachers don't even recognize you where when you come for exams only or you have a lot of trouble with your parents and you staying away from your home you don't want to give the unnecessary tension and stress to your parents that's what i learned so try to attend classes or at least be calculative about how many bunks you can do so that you can at least maintain the minimum requirement for attendance for eligibility so be smart about it even if you're trying to have fun and bunk and all that yes join clubs join activities go for competitions College is the time you learn all these things, you go for competition, you know your weakness, you fail, you cry, you get depressed, you get anxiety, you lose hope in life. That's what you're supposed to go through. And be active in everything. If you love sports, go for it. No need to think like, oh my god, I have so much to study, I, don't, I won't have time to do all of this, I can do this later. No, you're not going to have a lot of time later on because you're going to be in a job or you're going to be working on your thesis or your just really big stuff so i suggest like in your four years of your biotechnology life or your college life whatever you choose have fun join activities be a club member try to be the head of the club member challenge yourself and um have fun overall because this is not going to come back again this college life so you're gonna have to study well create a balance again balance is very important work out work out and so on eat healthy food also and even if you want to drink a lot make sure that you balance it maybe drink in the weekends don't drink in the weekdays that sort of thing no one's there to stop you but make sure that you know your limits take care of yourself and if you have any problems if you have any bad thoughts that come to your head or if you are facing any trouble then go to someone you trust just talking can help you understand a lot of stuff it can help you a lot to clear, uh, clear your mind up and it will help you focus on what you really need to do so take advice from this big sister who has gone through a lot of things which I'm not proud of also but I've learned a lot of things you can do this thanks for watching